All right, friends, video C is going to cover number 67 on this set. And I know we made a big jump all the way to 67 because I think the stuff in between video B and video C are pretty easy, actually. All right, number 67 says... Find the exact value of S in the given interval that has the given circular function value. And you can see example 4B if you need help with that. And 67, they're locking in the domain for S at pi over 2. And pi. Okay. And they're saying that the angle that we're looking for, that's just a comma. Yeah. Sine of s, the sine of the angle we're looking for is equal to one half. Okay, so as usual, I'll draw my unit circle and oh man, not bad, not bad. <laughs> um, I'll find out where sine one half is, or sine is one half. This is the point um, zero one. One half is right about here, halfway up, okay? And that happens here and here, okay? Now, it looks like there's two answers there, but my domain is restricted to pi over two and pi, and those angles are here, pi over two, and here, pi. And so I'm really interested in this point. So let me go ahead and draw that here. And the arc that I'm looking for, or the arc length I'm looking for, is this orange traced out arc, just like that, okay? Um, if you wanna think of it as an angle theta, you can do that for yourself as well. And might as well do that, just to have a beginning. Okay, so that's one half. I'm gonna need a reference triangle for this. And the reference triangle always goes down, or not down, but uh, towards the x-axis. In this case, it looks like that. This is one half. That means this must be a 30 degree angle. Okay. And a 30 degree angle here. Now the whole half circle is 180. That means this orange angle must be 150. It is supplementary to the 30 degree angle, okay? So my answer for this is S equals 150 degrees, or if they want it in radians, uh, S equals, I'm going to go back to my um, cheating chart. The one that looks like this. Okay. And it says there it is 5 pi over 6. Right there. Either of these answers are acceptable, so they're both correct.